Welcome to this instructional video about how to garbage disposal in Korea. Where to purchase assigned garbage bags. And learn all the important rules and regulations. Each district has its own official garbage bag. So you will have to use the one that is exclusive to the neighborhood you live in. That is, you can't use the, a bag for Gangnam-gu in Sungdung-gu. Food waste bag in Korean Imshikmul Siregi Pungtu. General waste bag Ilban Siregi Pungtu. These bags are generally white or green, but the color may vary in some districts. These bags are for food waste. And they come in smaller sizes in order to make the citizens of South Korea more conscious about the amount of food they throw away. You can find garbage bags from convenience stores or marts and supermarkets. Each garbage bag has instructions of how to dispose properly. Some bags offer instructions both in English and Korean. You have to check and ask in liters for your choices of sizes when purchasing the disposal bags. Sizes for both general waste bag Ilban Siregi Punktu and food waste bag Imshigmo Siregi Punktu are available. The exceptions for food waste are eggshells, tea bags, and meat bones. All of these are considered general waste and can be disposed in general waste bags. Apartment complex, smaller apartments, or houses in Korea has each slightly different disposal places and rules. For recyclable waste bag, Chehwaryong Siragi, you don't need a special bag for recycling because you will usually separate recyclable waste in different containers. If your location does not provide separate recyclable bins, you can collect all your recycling in any plastic bag and then leave it in the designated area. For oversized waste, Tehyeong Siragi, you have to contact your local district office and request an oversized garbage disposal sticker. Some apartment has specific days each week for disposals. Ask your landlord or management office for information. Also, be sure to check for information on the garbage bags themselves as they should note the designated day and hour of disposal each week. If you do not comply with these regulations, you will have to pay a fine. And depending on where you live, they can be up to $100. Garbage disposal in Korea can be a little confusing and annoying at first. However, bear with it as South Korea is trying to take action in reducing carbon footprint and protect the environment for clean, healthy living life for everyone.